It's Yes Go, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Future and Metro Boomin. They dropped their second new album, We Still Don't Trust You. And it looks like a couple more people don't trust Drake, KJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, more Drake disses are on this new album, We Still Don't Trust You. Uh, first up, The Weeknd. Yes, The Weeknd. He takes a couple shots at Drake on a song called All to Myself. The weekend is singing and dissing Drake at the same damn time, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> he says, they could never diss my brother's baby when they got leaks in their operation. I thank God that I never signed my life away. Back in the day, uh, right around the Take Care uh, album for Drake, you know, he was trying to sign The weekend. You know, it was going to be OVO and um, EXO. You know, that was the whole thing. Drake was definitely trying to sign the weekend. Obviously, the weekend uh, decided to turn Drake down. So, don't know what happened since then, but uh, obviously, the, the weekend is on pick sides and he's on future Metro Boomin side, KJ. Yeah. But that's not the only person that dissed Drake on this new album. ASAP Rocky. Now, I'm not too su- surprised about this, KJ, considering that Drake did uh, drop that Rihanna anti line on uh, For All the Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, ASAP Rocky, you got to stick up for his woman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, the song's called Show of Hands, uh, ASAP Rocky. Some people think that he's talking about um, uh, Drake's baby mama, Adonis's mama, uh, on some of these lyrics, saying uh, uh, they're in their feelings over women, what you heard or something. I smashed before you birth, son. Flacco hit it first, son. So do you think he's talking about uh, Drake's baby mama? Kind of. <laughs> I, at first, I thought maybe he was trying to say, like, he talking about Rihanna? Rihanna, but then I was like, no, that, no. And then, I, you know, of course, the internet was like, oh, no, he's talking about Jake's baby mama. And then I, like, thought about it, and I'm like, oh, is well, he may- trying to say he smashed her before? Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think the internet is on, on to something. Yeah, or, or, I think they're on to something. Or Drake never smashed Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> right. <laughs> You never know, which I'm sure really burns. But, you know, it kind of does make sense that it would be about Drake's baby mama from what we've heard about her and, and, you know, in her past. Right. And how Drake met her, so. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. You know, some of the, I mean... We're not, I'm not I'm not hating, but you know some of some of these uh, some of these people do get around the game, KJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it nicely. They get around the game, okay? Uh, but that's not the only surprise on this album. J Cole, do you believe it or not? J Cole is featured on Metro Boomin's "We Still Don't Trust You" album. The song is called "Red Leather." Now he doesn't take a shot at Drake. But it's just awkward. <laughs> it's he's, so awkward. It is so awkward that he's on here. Now, maybe they recorded this song a long time ago. That's what I was thinking. Probably recorded a long time ago. Either way, I don't think it's a good look for uh, for J. Cole. I mean, not at all. Uh, he just continues to slide down my power, power rankings, KJ. <laughs> 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 I just got to lower him a little bit more for this. It's just weird. It's just weird, you know? But if it wasn't an old recording and he decided to jump on it, then that's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, how are you going to jump on an album when Future and Metro Boomin's album when Future and Metro Boomin let uh, Kendrick Lamar just dish you? You know what I'm saying? Right. On their last album. That would be really weird. And then, like, I wonder how Drake feels about this because, you know, Drake, Drake I mean, what have Future and Metro Boomin done for J. Cole? You know? Not much. But Drake, you know, he got him his first number one song with First Person Shooter. That was J. Cole's first number one record. Took him on tour, you know. They had yeah. a big tour together. You know what I mean? So Tour just ended, too. Tour just ended. Oh, my God. Tour the timing just... of all of this is crazy. Tour just ended. And uh, J. Cole's is on this. He's on the Ops album, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, when I heard J. Cole, I was like, wow. You know what, I, what came to mind? I was like, man, Drake was really right with that song, No Friends in the Industry, dude. That song hits way different now. Yeah. <laughs> Go back and listen to No Friends in the Industry, Drake, uh, Certified Lover Boy. I was like, oh, wow. that That's definitely facts right now for Drake. And, of course, you know, we're still waiting on a Drake response, KJ. Um, who, who do you think he's going to diss first? Or should he diss any any of the, these other people first before he addresses Kendrick Lamar? You know, I, I think he might have went back in the booth and added to his Kendrick diss. So it might start with Kendrick, <laughs> but he going to start throwing everybody else towards the end. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right, he might just uh, have to go back in the booth. I think, uh, I think here's the thing. Like, I think, um, you know, ASAP Rocky, The Weeknd... Uh, you know, I think those are just like all side missions. Even Future and Metro Boomin, those are really side missions for Drake, you know? I think he could get them in any other song. He could just throw, like, lyrics for them in any other song. But, like, 
Kendrick Lamar. Like, that's the real impact, right? That's the real battle. That's what everyone wants to see. That's box office. You know what I mean? I mean, look at the impact that like that made. Number one for two weeks on the charts. Shoot, might go number one again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that's the two heavyweights right there. Obviously, you know, since J. Cole bowed out. <laughs> so I think he needs to just focus on Kendrick Lamar. That'll help boost Drake's legacy if he could get some really serious bars off against Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? These other guys, they're not on his level. They're really not. They're not in the same room as him. I mean, The Weeknd, that's a different thing. The Weeknd's like a pop star. He sells out stadiums. You know, I'm a, how much time are you going to spend dissing The Weeknd? Not much. But, like, Future, ASAP Rocky, you know, you could just you could handle those guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? J. Cole, like, he don't even have to do nothing to J. Cole. J. Cole keeps uh, hurting himself. <laughs> <laughs> right. J. Cole is just like, it'll be pointless. <laughs> right. It's basically pointless, you know? All right, let's talk about the album. You know, this album, by the way, it's not... It's not what you think it is, you know? It's basically an R&B album. It's yeah. Future Vandross. Basically. You know? Future Vandross is back, dude. So uh, pick some of your favorite songs. Um. All right. I actually love the way the album like started. <laughs> we still don't trust you. I oh, don't know. Yeah, that, with, that with set the, the weekend. tone. Yeah, it so set the, good. It set, the, set the tone. I also like um This Sunday. Aha. Uh-huh. All to Myself, right. Nights Like This, and uh, Right For You. Right. I oh those yeah, like yeah I love Right For You. Right yeah. For You is a banger. And then so like, like here's the thing, we like we still don't trust you, and I still don't trust Metro Boomy because he put the track list out yes. yesterday and didn't even include the other songs that are on it. Yes, <laughs> I was getting... so confused. I was like, wait, 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 what's the rest? of What's these other songs? I didn't even get to get to them yet. Right, right. So there's seven more songs. Uh, I feel like we don't trust. We still don't trust you. Is like basically like an R&B future album. And then I, I'm pretty sure they're like, you know what? We just diss Drake. Ain't no way we could just drop a straight R&B album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's throw in. Let's add a, a bit. It feels like they just added a mixtape of seven songs yeah. at the end here. Uh, all right. Here we go. My first listen picks. Uh, my favorite songs after one listen. Uh, we still don't trust you. It just sets it off. Like you said, KJ. It sets it off. You know, The weekend. It has a little bop to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, drink and Dance. Definitely Fire. Oh, yeah. I love Jealous. Uh, that's really good. Uh, number six, love bad bees. Oh yeah, I was feeling that one. <laughs> uh, let's see, all to myself is good. Uh, right for you, like you said, KJ. I love right for you. That's a banger for sure. Um, I think. Uh, let's see, gracious. I think I like gracious. See, there's so many songs out here. I can't remember. I was like, is that the one? I know I loved always be my fault in one big family for sure. And then uh, on the uh, mixtape, as I call it, <laughs> the extra seven songs. Uh, Nobody Knows My Struggle, All My Life, Show of Hands, that's a song with ASAP Rocky, and then uh, Streets Made Me a King. Those are definitely dope. So this album's good. Um, Overall, I'm going to go with the first We Don't Trust You, KJ. It's by far the better album. Yeah. No doubt. But this this definitely has its highlights on this one, but the impact of the first We We Don't Trust You is just unmatched. And that goes to show, again, like that's the impact of, of Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Like him being on like that, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the big fight that Drake needs to fight. So, you know, don't worry about these other guys right now. Just go ahead and get take Kendrick on. One-on-one. mano y mano. Are you here for it, KJ, or what? Yeah, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we don't came this far. <laughs> we don't came this far. There's no turning back now. Exactly. This is, a, this is a, where legacies are going to be made. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, for more episodes of the Esco Let's Go podcast, just follow, like, subscribe. Uh, Wherever you listen to podcasts, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O, all one word, Esco Let's Go. Thanks for listening.